Yeah. <laughs> the music, the music. You know what this music reminds me of? What? Oh, when I'd be waiting for you to come out of the dressing room at Bebe store or something. Like uh, right, or at the guest <laughs> store. Or the guest store, right? right? Mm-hmm. The guest- this song reminds me of the side room downtown. The what? <laughs> the side room. The side room? They play this stuff? It's like a... It's like a side room inside a bar. Uh huh. And it's all like this music, like house music. And everybody's just in there in the dark, like dancing. And yeah. <laughs> Where nobody can see anybody's face. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I don't go to those bars, so it just reminds me of when I'm. <laughs> Bebe. I'm, yeah. When I'm, rallies, when I'm Rally's bag boy <laughs> at the <laughs> mall. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and she's inside those stores and. Man, they take so long to shop. Us guys, we just go in there. We buy what we got. I don't know. Let's go. Just get it. You take you, a long time, though. Me? Yeah, you do. Not really. Okay. I, I, I grab two quick jeans. I'm gonna, let me try them on. Me quedan. I'm gonna. No estoy como. Let's try this one. And let's try it. And then let me go through all these racks. And, you know, no, no, I mean, maybe this one's on special. I don't even look for the twenty percent off or none of that crap. Just yeah, just me gusta uno. Let's go. <laughs> and then women, no hombre, caete. It's a day out. But I don't mind. I like freaking out there at the mall sometimes. You know. You're there, there. He's going. So you like <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. You like the girls coming out of the dressing room like all dressed up. Me parezco como una fashion designer judge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And then, uh, and then you go and you're walking around the mall and you see pe- like men just hanging out in the center courts, like where there's like seats. Yeah, just, yeah. Just sitting there by themselves. Watching. Yeah, y las, las señoras, déjalas que vayan al shop todo lo que quieran aquí la boca al mario. Mm-hmm. And then you go by the area where they where they shine your shoes and your boots y están los vatos ahí en curado con todos los sunglasses puestos, echando toda la onda, ¿no? Puro taco de ojo, papá. Yeah. We got to call David Modest because David Modest is waiting for us. Oh, yes. And I haven't seen David Modest in a long time, man. It's been a while. Hello. What is going on, El Galan de San Antonio, bro? What's up, bro? I see no mess coming out. The rent's going on, man. <laughs> the rent's going on, man. Hey, dude, you know, man, musicians and artists have been, been really been hit by this COVID, no, carnal? I'm telling you, brother, right now, I mean... I can hardly wait to play it, brother, but yeah, that's, you know, that's what we do. Are and, you uh, originally from uh, San Antonio? Were you born and raised in San Antonio? I, I wasn't born in San Antonio. I was born in Mathis, Texas, which is uh, by Corpus. Wow, dude. Yeah, they have this little dance hall in Mathis, Texas. What's it called, baby? We went over there we one went, time. We went over there. Yeah. Um, Cieli- Jesse. El Cielito Cieli- Lindo. Cielito Lindo. That's mm. it. That's that is it. it, bro. Yeah, that that has been there for a long time. How long ago were you born there in Mathis, man? Was it in the 60s or 50s or what is it? Oh, yeah, because I'm only uh, 33. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, it's been a while, man. I, I was born there and I lived there. Yeah. I lived there, I guess, uh, my early pre-teens, you know, then I, I moved to San Antonio. Mm-hmm. And in San Antonio is where I, I um, you know, I've been living there already over 50 years. So Yeah, so you're in San Antonio, you went to high school then, huh? in San Antonio then, huh? Oh, yeah, I went to middle school and high school. Mm, what high school did you ahí in San Antonio then? La Burbank. La Burbank, orale. <laughs> is, there, is there, like, in your family, was there a music? Uh, was, was it... Uh, were you surrounded by musicians when you were growing up as a kid? Uh, uh, how is it that you decided I mean, that you found this voice, dude? Well, thank you for the voice comment. Thank you so much. Yes, as a matter of fact, you know, when when, um, when I moved over here and then, you know, I was, I've always been singing because I was singing in the church, right? Gospel singing. Yeah. With my parents and uh, I would do the harmonies with them, you know. And um, so when I got over here, man, you know, um, my parents weren't too thrilled with me trying to be in, a musician. And then uh, years later, I come to find out <laughs> my mother says, well, you know, Kato, man, why, why was my father so against me being a musician, blah, 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 and all this? I said, well, I don't know, sir, but actually from both sides of your family, mine and, and your dad's, y'all were musicians. Like, <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> there you had it. <laughs> I said, and, and y'all were giving me a hard time. Yeah. You know, my grandfather had an orchestra over there in that area, and my 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 uncle played with the uh, what was in the Oscar Martinez the Corpus Orchestra. Yeah. And stuff. Those orchestras were big back in the day, bro. In the seventies, you were in big bands, right? You were at that. Were you with the Royal Jesters? Was it or? Uh, yep. Yeah, I was with them. Tell I was with them. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what year did that happen and how did that happen, man? It happened twice. I was with them twice. Okay. I was with them in high school. Mm -hmm. um, I was with this. Uh, well, the the the, uh, the Uptones. We were like a. Man, we we're a hot band, and, you know, and yeah. uh, the, most of the most of the big bands took guys from our band because they were like the minor leagues for them, right? Yeah. When they needed a badass player, where they they come take him out of our band. And we're child owners. We're at that age, and we we're we we're blessed and we sound a good, play good, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah, so I was with them. Yeah, and uh, and and and. Okay. Se me fue la onda. Se no. <laughs> la onda se me va. Se me está yendo. La onda se me va. Ya no I comprendo. <laughs> I was trying to make a point, and then hey. I made the point. I go, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, ask, hey, don't ask my wife how many times that happens to me per day, day bro. Day. Per day. Uh, I had a, I had a, I had a senior moment, man. Yeah. <laughs> So no, we were talking about, uh, you know, not Latin breed, but uh, Royal Jesters that you joined the band. Oh, yeah, you yeah. were in high school, and then you you went yeah. into the Deptones, or what was it, the Eptones, right? The Eptones, and then, yeah. From there, I went into the Jesters, and I was, I was uh, sixteen, I think. Wow, something like that, man. And I got, I played with them. That's when we were playing nothing but English, right? Yeah. And uh, the big, I mean, their horns. I mean, at that time, everybody had horns, and. It was badass, man. It was badass. Excuse my my yeah, language. No, man. It's yeah. you, you be natural, man. You be yourself here on this show, David. <laughs> Thank you very much. And then I went in the navy. I was there four years, and when I came out, uh, the Latin breed, they were having a, like a looking for a vocalist, but I just got out, so I didn't I didn't get in. Uh -huh. So, man, I haven't sang in four years. I can't. And then the following week, the Royal Justice called, and, and that time I said, "Oh hell no! I ain't gonna turn it down twice, even though I haven't sang in four years. I'll sing." Yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, the the only thing was that they went. To, we we changed the format to Spanish. Yeah. Hey, now now the Navy. I never knew you were in the Navy, man. Thank you for serving our country, David. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. That's Thanks awesome, so much. man. Yeah. You're a veteran, bro. Wow, that's incredible. That is awesome. Uh, what, what did you just decide to enlist on your own, or were you called up, or what was it? Yeah, I'm gonna sort of date myself now, but yeah, I was drafted, oh. and uh, so you know, when it passed physical, so when it passed physical, I said, well, you know what, I'm I'm gonna since I have to go, I'm gonna go to cho choose my my service, you know. So yeah. I chose the Navy. Wow, man. And, now we're and, super uh, proud of you, there, David. Man, thank you so much for being part of the, you know serving our country when you were called upon to do it, bro. Thank you, brother. Yeah, That's thank awesome. you. It was it was it was great. I. I saw all the Far East, uh, you know, yeah. uh, albeit I had to go through some circumstances, you know, but yeah. I saw all the Far East, you yeah. know. Man, and, yeah. and then you, you came out and you joined the Royal Jesters. The Royal Jesters, uh, they were always like, because not only was back in the 60s and 70s, late 60s and 70s, not only was it the horn section stuff, but there was a lot of uh, a lot of um, attention put on, on, in the vocals as far as harmonizing. You know, you had Los Chachos, you had uh, Paulino Bernal, uh, you had Little Joe with the three voices, you know, Little Joe, Johnny, Rocky. Uh, Royal Jesters was sort of the same way, right, where you had three harmonies or something like that, right? Uh, yes, but when I got to, when I got to that time, that era, it was three voices. Prior to that, it was like six voices and stuff. I, you know, they were a vocal group. Yeah. They weren't um, an instrument group. They had vocals. So those guys, I mean, sheesh, the gestures were like awesome, yeah. awesome vocals, you know, um, more than the three voices. Right? Cuatro, cinco, seis, cinco voces, you know. Que mm -hmm. estaba tremendo. And then when I got in, um, it was three voices. But even that was, you know, a an awesome trip in itself because yeah. you can do a lot of we they listen to a lot of those you know the trios los panchos los tres ases and all that stuff and and we used to try to you know we would get those for ideas you know listen to them yeah and then we'd sing our, our parts you know and then 
you know, you learn, you learn how to sing different ways in yeah. three, three-part harmony, man. It, it was great. It was great. Absolutely. Yeah.